Good morning, everybody. So neither of us brought our cameras to dinner last night. I think that was the last time I was filming, was getting ready. But we ended up having a really fun night, went to a really good restaurant. And now we're just checking out of this Airbnb and we're about to check into our hotel for the week because we ended up having some work later on in the week. So we decided to extend, long story short. But last night I was joking before bed because Hannah had to get up and drop our friend off at the train station. I said I would absolutely die if she woke me up with a coffee subtly so so is a joke but like no it really is a joke but like didn't really know and this icon comes in at 10 30 i'm still passed out of sleep i don't know why i can't get up recently and has a coffee she was dangling around on my wrist and that was the best thing to wake up to and i wish that happened every single morning she also picked up banana bread and just had herself another full morning while i just sleep so plan for today is we're gonna go into sag harbor and do some shopping get some lunch i have to get this i didn't know you can make oysters safely at home wow grapefruit basil oh my god i didn't realize there were so many ways baked oysters oysters baked with devil sauce okay i'm ordering this book i'm amazon priming it i'm actually so weak Ken and I were just messing around with her drone. She literally bought a drone and we put it up like out in the backyard and we were doing fun clips of us like dancing around for like our videos and we lost the drone fully in like the neighbor's area and it was up so high so we were just spending like 20 minutes finding it. Suddenly I need a drone though. That was so funny. Oh my god. Okay, now we're leaving. Found the drone. Thank god. Time to leave. <laughs> We don't know where we are right now. This is a really fancy French restaurant. They told us to come here, and so we were like, okay. They have oysters, so I'm happy. And it's so pretty right by the water. So we have had the biggest change of events of the day. We're gonna sum it up here. Basically got parking ticket at lunch, went to lunch, got a dress, stained the dress, got really upset about the dress. I don't know why she's so upset about the damn dress. I keep saying, Ellie, there's bigger things to worry about right no, now. There's, no, there's quite literally so many things to be worrying about besides the dress she's and I'm like, like fixated. Fit. Uh, we were walking around. We all know my phone got stolen again. And the lady that set it up at Sprint, which Sprint is just like absolutely not it whatsoever for me. I've had so many issues with them, but my dad swears by them. Anyways, I'm, I'm talking about Sprint right now. <laughs> I went to the Sprint store in Miami and they messed it up and now my phone is only <laughs> connecting to Wi-Fi. I'm out of roaming data and I've never had that before. And so I see this random email come up and it was like urgent, needed in LA. And I'm like, okay, what is, what is that? I have to run to a burger shop, go in there, connect to their Wi-Fi all aggressively. I'm like really overwhelmed, like dripping in sweat. And they're like, what is, what is, what, are you, what, what are you doing? Sit down, put my AirPods in, connect to the Wi-Fi, check the, e <laughs> the I don't know, I'm literally going so hard. <laughs> connect, to the, connect to the Wi-Fi, I'm connect overwhelmed. to AirPods. And I call my manager and she's like, yeah, you like call time's 9 a.m. for for this brand. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet, I don't know. But it's for their holiday campaign, Times Square Billboard, which so sick. Never so thought sick. that would be a thing ever in my life. That's Insane. Like what? And they're like, yeah, like you gotta get from coast to coast, like right now, like how far are you from the airport? And obviously we're kind of in a little remote area where every airport's at least an hour drive, but the ones yeah. that are gonna have flight options to last minute are like two and a half, three hours away. So we start racing back to the car. I start breaking out in a sweat and like a stress rash, me literally showing up my dress, breaking out in a stress <laughs> rash. I'm like itching myself, clawing myself, <laughs> stressing about the state of my dress. And we just start booling our way back down into New York. I don't know what airport. I can't text she or call no anyone. Flight, but we need to get her on one. No now. flight, no data, no information besides I'm going to LA overnight, working all day, and then flying back up here tomorrow to continue our Hamptons adventure. <laughs> So I'm just like, glad you're on the wavelength of like understanding that things can be so last minute and we're no, like, all right, so no hotel. Sick. Oh, we gotta call the hotel and cancel it. All right, a lot going on, a lot of things I need to do here, but I'm gonna take you guys to LA with me and then back here. I don't know what's going on, I need to itch my rash, goodbye. Fully unable to even fathom right now that I 
I'm somehow in LA after I literally woke up to Hannah hand feeding me a coffee in the Hamptons. I don't know what time is. I am so confused, but yet so like excited. I'm gonna explain the actual shit show of a day that Hannah and I had. It's straight out of a movie, does not make sense at all, talking about stranded on side of the road, stranded at train station, dramatic goodbye. It's, it's too much. I don't know what this video's turned to, but I'm documenting it all because this is absolutely hilarious. It is 2 a.m. Um, I just got here and I have to be up at 8 a.m. for my call time. So, see ya when I see But we're here for another couple of days and we just somehow started matching. Hannah had a little bit of fun here in the Hamptons without me. Dean came down and- Babysat me for- Babysat her and then I picked days. back up on my job. If Dean didn't come, I would have zipped home. No, I know. Well, Dean's. I didn't even explain. Basically, to sum it up what happened to us, as you saw our update as we were leaving and we were like all chaotic driving the rental car back and she was gonna drop me at the airport. Long story short, she mentioned to me earlier that morning that the brake was acting super weird on the rental car yeah and so you had said that and i was like oh like it's fine so we're driving in like bumper to bumper and literally as we're trying to figure out why my phone doesn't have service and figuring out what airport she's taking me to we almost fly into the car in front of us and i'm literally watching her foot gets like stuck and like it won't break yeah it's just it, ellie, ellie, ellie. i had to pull off to the side of the road it like, was so scary skirt off you did you remain so calm we get off call kevin the guy that we rented the car from and he's like, was trying like, to like kevin I, I don't know what to do and he was like helping us figure it out we but then he, he directed us to a train station that had, the train wasn't leaving until <laughs> seven well, the train station didn't work so before that we had to call an uber to the side of the road at a chicken farm literally like an egg farm and the uber is like pull off we're trying to get our suitcases out i'm trying to load a little like carry-on of stuff i need just for la i'm wearing that little dress it's flying up in the wind we're on this dangerous little curve and i'm trying to load up a suitcase and we're trying to pack up the car we leave the car on the side of the road get to kevin the train station to. yeah kevin told us to we get to the train station i buy us tickets and it doesn't like train doesn't come till seven. So then I have to Uber all the way down into the city, which was so expensive. And you were gonna Uber too, but you were like, you know what? We already have the hotel that we're at now. Yeah. You just ended up coming here. It was a it was a shit show that day. And then to go to LA and then come right back. But we're here and we're just gonna lay out, do some work. I don't know how it, it escalated so fast. One minute we were walking yeah. downtown. Yeah eating a cute lunch with Lily and then the next minute we're flying we're flying city. off we're flying off the side of the road yeah. Kevin's it's like ugh. but thank you Kevin he was actually really cool and brought us a new car but it's actually hilarious nothing like the one before there's a little update that I think we've all been needing so I had to come in and do this little interview thing because something really exciting that I've been working on for months now is coming out on Monday will actually already be out by the time you're watching this I designed a hair color with Hallie hair and you guys can dye your hair with my shade just so crazy I'm gonna have a bunch of videos on that. I'm sure they're already up or about to be up I really thought that I was being some sort of fashion icon when I bought these <laughs> I look like I'm like either going to like a 3D movie or I'm like fully going on Space Mountain or something. I don't know. I can't take myself seriously and I want to get Hannah's reaction because she's gonna actually laugh her ass off. Actually, let's go get it. I just walked in and she goes, what's on your head? Let's go see. You wanna see a surprise? Is it going? Is it a surprise for you? Yeah. Is it a gift from from you to you? I know you'd plan on me for this. <laughs> you didn't buy those with your own money, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I did. taking the rental car for the first drive of the trip. I didn't want to drive before because I get really nervous driving, but Hannah has meetings all day and I need to be able to take the car to my fitting and get my nails done. It looks like a car out of a movie. No, it looks like the, <laughs> looks like the car from vacation. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I, I I'm very confident in my driving and this car makes me nervous. I'm always nervous. <laughs> Burning rubber out. <laughs> I'm currently 
currently just sitting outside of our hotel right now at this cute little seating area. Hannah had a meeting thing for like the day with Tarte. I have a couple things today. I have a fitting from Marc Jacobs at 345 and I actually bit off all my nails on a phone call yesterday because I get super anxious and they look horrifying. I need to find a hair, hair salon? No. I need to find a nail salon and that's about it so far and I'm really nervous to drive the car but I can do it. I'm a safe driver. I just get weird driving in new places. For some reason I feel like I forget all driving ability if I just like go to a different state but like catch me being a great driver if it's somewhere I'm comfortable but I gotta be able to do it. So I'm gonna go there. My little Sag Harbor hat that I'm obsessed with. Okay let's get some stuff done. All right everybody I have made it to Montauk which is like a 35 minute drive from East Hamptons where we're staying um but it's also a lot of like beach towns where people are just like biking in front of you or walking in front of you and so you just literally I mean obviously always be focused but it's just especially a little intimidating when I'm from Arizona where that's like not the case but I found a little two-hour parking area I don't want to get a ticket so that's where I'm kind of like tweaking to leave the car but I feel like I have some time I'm kind of disappointed I came up here so early because I need to get my nails done as I was saying they don't have a nail salon in Montauk I looked everywhere there's just none so my nails literally hurt to do anything which sucks I might see if there's an appointment for when I get back from like the fitting but for now I parked next to this cute little like pink coffee shop I actually think it looks really cute I went and got a matcha on the way which is also stressful I parked and what I thought was legal but maybe it wasn't and I like ran over got a matcha it's weird being here alone but it's also a very good independent moment because driving any places is part of life so let's go have some fun <laughs> But I ended up in an oyster shop and I saw fresh oysters and I was really considering trying to make some But then I realized I have no resources for that So I ended up getting a little chickpea salad from the cool little fresh seafood market Anyways, and I got a water and my parking's about up I talked to my grandma for a while, went pee at like the beach a couple times Got a cold brew and yeah, I'm gonna go to my fitting Go back, see Hannah, have a good night But I actually love Montauk, it's so beautiful here People are watching me, goodbye This has actually been such an interesting and pivotal day of independence. I just finished my fitting at the hotel that the lunch tomorrow is at. They're like setting up all this really cool Marc Jacobs stuff and like a pink, like really neat vintage car that says like Marc Jacobs. I have this like green tennis dress. Hannah just finished her stuff. I'm gonna do the 40 minute drive back and we're gonna have a fun night. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Yeah, Hannah yeah. has yeah. been a little mom today and found, you've been a mom this whole trip, driving us around, finding all the like places we go eat, everything. She found this beautiful restaurant right on the water. Epic water too. So it is now the next day. We are getting ready to go to the event. Here is my little outfit from the fitting I got. And so we've just been basically parked out, camping out, waiting for the event to start because it's like a lunch kind of thing. And so Hannah's wearing her cute little pink dress over here. Hey. Bye, everybody. We'll see you there. Come on. stayed there but yeah basically the event was really good and then we had to head out and now we are about an hour from 46 minutes from Dean's <laughs> trip i had so much fun looking back at all of this it was so special to spend that week with hannah and just catch up on everything and i just love those friendships where you can go literally a year and a half even longer without seeing them in person in no time felt like it went by it's just really special and i appreciate all of you that have watched and supported us for very very long since we were 13 together which is crazy but with that being said i'm very excited for my next series on youtube and what's going on in my life Life. that will be coming up very soon but I do want to talk about an organization for this video and it is called the Lemire Foundation they are basically collecting old scrap paper and magazines and newspapers and they are collecting these and they're helping to raise money for elderly homes and orphanages their goal is to help those in need through their organization it's really really special and there are so many different things they do I will have the link to them down below thank you to who messaged me about them and as always continue to let me know your favorite organizations. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.